been having to talk from a little bit of a personal perspective. So, you know, I'm a woman in my early 60s, and when the Me Too movement really started, I really kind of had to rethink everything because I've lived my whole life a particular way. You know, I learned to swear like a truck driver so that I could fit in with men in meetings. Uh, I learned to adjust my behavior. You know, I don't stay out late at night. I don't go drinking in Springfield. You know, and I finally had to come to a place where I had to say, if I chose to go out in Springfield and get intoxicated, where I was totally stupid, it is still their responsibility for their behavior. So there's a cultural shift that is going on here, and it is a huge responsibility for those of us that sit here. We do sit in a place of privilege. We do. If someone treats me badly and I tell them, I take them on, I do whatever, I don't lose my job. I'm elected by the people. So I do sit in a place of privilege. But because of that privilege, we've got to find a way. And I'm listening to this, and it's so hard because the task force, as a leader said, our task is to look at sexual harassment laws as they span private, public. That's our task. And at the same time, believe me, we are filing bills left and right because we know there are things that need to be changed right away. 